morning students how are you all i hope you all are well at your home i am your english teacher and today we will learn about the poem television the poem television which is written by roll down okay poem television is written by roll down okay first i will read out the poem listen to me carefully while i am reading open your text so open your book i'll read the poem now television the poem is written by roll dal the most important thing we have learned so far as children are concerned is never 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 let them near to your television set or better still just don't install the idiotic thing at all in almost every house we have been we have watched them gaping at the screen they loll and slop and lounge about and stare until their eyes pop out last week in someone's place we saw a dozen eyeballs on the floor they sit and stare and stare and sit until they are hypnotized by it until they are absolutely drunk with all that shocking ghastly junk Oh yes we know it keeps them still they don't climb out the window sill they never fight or kick or punch they leave you free to cook the lunch and wash the dishes in the sink but did you ever stop to think to wonder just exactly what this does to your beloved tot it rots the sense in the head it kills imagination dead it clogs and clutters up the mind it makes a child so dull and blind he can no longer understand a fantasy a fairy land his brain becomes as soft as cheese his powers of thinking rust and freeze he cannot think he only sees all right you all cry all right you'll say but if we take the set away what shall we do to entertain our darling children please explain we'll answer this by asking you what use the darling ones do how used they keep themselves contented before this monster was invented have you forgotten don't you know will say it very loud and slow they used to read they would read and read and read and read and then proceed to read some more great scott gadzooks one half their lives was reading books the nursery shelves held books galore books cluttered up the nursery floor and in the bedroom by the bed more books were waiting to be read such wondrous fine fantastic tales of dragons gypsies queens and whales of treasure isles and distant shores where smugglers rowed with muffled oars and pirates wearing purple pants and sailing ships and elephants and cannibals crouching round the pot staring away at something hot it smells so good what can it be good gracious it's fenelope the younger ones had breedrick potter with mr toad the dirty rotter and squirrel nutkin pigling bland and mrs tiggy winkle and just how the camel got its hump and how the monkey lost its rump and mr toad and bless my soul there's mr rate and mr mole who books what books they used to know those children living long ago so please ho oh please we beg we pray go throw your tv set away and in its place you can install a lovely bookshelf on the wall